Although it can be purchased all year long in Tsukiji, the best season for the Inago is during the summertime. Generally, the best months to purchase Inago are between July and August. The oil content is abundant, and taste is at its peak. Although this toxin can be easily neutralized by boiling or cooking the Inago, caution is still necessary during the preparation. If the blood of a raw Inago gets into your eyes, it may cause swelling or pain in the pupil area. When choosing an Inago, look for the distinct marks on the back of the fish. When the Inago starts to degrade, the marks on the back will fade and become less distinct. Make sure the stomach is firm. When degradation begins, the stomach and intestines will start to melt and emanate an odor. This odor will penetrate to the meat, and the smell will not come out even after washing. The meat should also be firm when it is held. Anago that comes from Japan is mostly a keijime. Take a look at the neck area to see if the meat is white and transparent, and the blood is a bright red color. When degradation occurs, the meat turns an almost creamy color, and the blood will be much darker, almost black. To begin filleting, wash the excess sliminess off of the anago. Prepare a wooden cutting table and affix a nail into the fish's eye. This process is commonly used for filleting either unagi or anago. Using the nail will help stabilize the fish during the filleting process. Place the fish on the wooden cutting table with the back of the anago facing towards you. And work a nail through the eye and into the cutting table. The bones of the anago are angled as shown midway through the stomach area. The rest of the bones are lined like any other fish to the tip of the tail. Once the anago is stabilized on the cutting board, begin cutting from the side of the pectoral fin to the backbone. Now make a cut on the backside, making sure the tip of the blade is on top of the bone. Take precaution not to cut into the stomach area when cutting into the backside of the fish. Once the anago is filleted open, turn the knife over and cut alongside of the backbone. Remove the intestines by hand. Remove the conjoining area of the intestine by cutting. Begin the process of removing the backbone at the head. Place the tip of the blade under the backbone and begin the process of removing it. As you continue to cut under the backbone to the tail, remove the back fin as well during this time. This can easily be accomplished by picking up the tail with the left hand as shown. Now, separate the head and the chest area. Gently bend the fish and remove the pectoral fin. This is accomplished in the same manner as in removing the back fin. Gently lift and pull the pectoral fin and remove. If the pectoral fin is too slippery to hold, rub some salt onto your hand for traction. If there's a slippery substance on the meat itself, gently scrape it away with your knife. Wash under running water, then dry, removing any excess water with a dry towel. Next, boil the anago. Bring water to a boil in a pot, then add sake, sugar, and soy sauce and mix well. The mixture should not come to a full boil, with the temperature kept just below boiling. Place the anago into the mixture one by one. Remove any aku. Make sure the mixture does not boil over. After removing all of the aku, place a lid or aluminum foil over the mixture. Doing this will prevent uneven coloring and spread the mixture evenly over the anago. We have prepared two types of anago. On the right is an usakuchi anago, made from a light flavored soy sauce and with slightly less sugar than usual. This is the way to fully enjoy the taste of anago itself. On the left is a heartier flavored anago, a traditional type known as edomai style. This is prepared by using regular soy sauce and the usual amount of sugar. Anago should be broiled inside the mixture for about 30 minutes. The best way to tell if it's finished is by looking at the skin of the anago to see if there are any small bubbles on the skin. The finished anago should be handled gently and should be removed from the mixture by using a large ladle or a spoon. 
The light Inago should be topped with salt and rinds of yuzu to accentuate its true taste. The Edomai Inago should be topped with tsuma, 